1944, the first Colossus computer started to make a huge impact on the outcome of the Second World War. Its crucial role in helping to break the Lorentz encrypted messages of Hitler and his generals was to prove decisive. We had no idea what we were going to do or what it was going to do. Or... i never seen it. I didn't know what a computer was. <laughs> it all worked on the probability that if you set the machine at a certain place, um, you would come up with a hit that you would be able to decipher the message. The first Colossus arrived on Bletchley Park in February, and it was so successful that more were ordered. Delivery of another, Colossus Mark II, was requested for the month of May. My part of the job was to put the tapes on and then count the letters and my friend Pam was on typewriter and she would type out any messages. Tommy Flowers and his team work hard to meet this delivery date, not knowing that D-Day, the Allied invasion of continental Europe, was being planned. But one night, the machine came out with a very good, obviously, a breakthrough. Jack Good was on with me and he said to me, come with me. I went into the next room, which turned out to be the testery, and he looked very, very happy, didn't say anything to me. The next day, I heard that D-Day had started, so I can only assume that he jolly had well got a message. By the end of the war, a total of 10 Colossus machines were working around the clock, helping to provide vital intelligence about enemy strategy and morale. In May 2019, 75 years on, surviving Colossus veterans and their families gathered to celebrate the anniversary at the National Museum of Computing, where the working rebuild of Colossus and the associated code-breaking equipment, along with the original German Lorentz encryption machine, can be seen today. The Colossus Gallery now displays samples of the decrypted information that altered the course of the war. For decades, the Colossus veterans could not speak of their work. Secrecy was so intense that you never mentioned work to even to the best friend you'd worked with all night. We just thought we were working on Enigma machines and just breaking the, the codes for them. And we had no idea of anything else for the Lorenz or anything. During the war, they understood only fragments of the vital operation in which they were playing a part. Only in the 21st century has the huge significance of their role become clear, even to themselves. We were such tiny little cogs in a very big machine. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what we were doing. I never ever thought that I was uh, working on decoding Hitler's um, and his general's messages at all. As more information trickles out, this remarkable story grows in fascination. The incredible story of the breaking of Lorentz from intercept to decrypt is brought vividly to life daily at the National Museum of Computing.